basically the full point is to take kids out of the classroom and bring them into the forest and really get them to see what's in their very own backyard. Hey, young leaves. Right now we're on a teaching change field trip. This is Hakalau Forest National Wildlife Refuge. We get to bring about 14 students to this refuge. It's actually closed off to the public year round, but we get to bring groups. We have a special permit for that. And because of that, kids that only hear about these special places get to feel them and see them. So I'm going to start off with a little introduction to the birds. Hawaii's native bird population is looking pretty bad all around. However, Hakala Forest is one of the only places in the entire state where the native forest bird population is either stable or increasing. That speaks volumes. A lot of times we hear it backwards, humans harming nature. But this is a great example of us trying to do the right thing. Hakalau is a great example of people coming together and working together for that one common goal of having this habitat restored. So you all are going to pick one plant out there and it's going to be your own personal plant that you're going to put out in the forest. We have the kids do out planting. So part of this uh, experience is to have kids realize that they have a big role to play in terms of restoring a forest. What you're going to do is we're going to plant mostly out here. I'm because this is such a fragile ecosystem, it's very important for kids to understand their role in the environment and really get to understand the intricacies of forest ecology. So we try to do that as much as possible. 19 for Isabel. What number are you? 20. I'm good. Daylight, it's up over here. Look at the two to the right, and then the farthest right one at the very top where the, the canopy starts or the leaves start. It's kind of an eye opener for a lot of kids to see how concepts that are explained in the classroom really tie into everything that's all around them. Coming towards us. So there, you drop down a little bit, see him? You guys see him? He's down a little lower now. No, Good job, guys. For a lot of students, this is their only opportunity to go on field trips. We try to get teachers to become more comfortable bringing their kids out of the classroom and into the schoolyard to do things like phenology, studying the life cycle cues of plants or birds. And it's really easy to do. And if you're just studying one tree at a time and you're going back to this one tree over and over again, the kids start to notice things around them that they just didn't before. And maybe they'll start realizing that it's a whole ecosystem. There's a whole pattern to how nature works. We're going to start an exercise to get you thinking about connections and ecosystems. We are one with the environment. We are the environment. Our actions have direct consequences to the environment. Please don't kill me or I'll die. Is the whole surrounding ecosystem going to fall apart? Is that happening all around the world constantly? Species yes. disappearing? Yeah. So we need to make some good decisions. My name is Catherine Spina. I'm the project coordinator for the Teaching Change Program. We are a University of Hawaii Manoa program. We are bringing kids to places like Hakalau Forest and opening their eyes, having them realize how their actions really matter. Hopefully that can translate to potentially future generations of caring. And that's what this program is all about, Malama Aina caring about the land and why it's important to conserve these very unique uh, and precious places. <laughs>